What is up, everybody? It's the Game Decks here. We are back again with another episode of Pokemon Infinity. In the last episode, we got lost in the depths of the desert, but now we are free into the oasis. We are in what I would assume is possibly getting back into Storyland because we're supposed to be heading over here for the sake of some item. The Chaos Ruins. And I just, I, I want that item. Have I been to Hayfield Path? I would assume yes. But yes, we are in the Dune Stone Oasis. Now, I have a rod to go fishing. And that might be the only way to get a Pokemon. I'm not completely sure. I'll keep exploring the town first. Oh. Hello, and welcome to the Dunestone Oasis Historical Vis Site Visitor Center. Yes, please. Of course I'd want you to heal me. Okay. Uh, upstairs. I already know what's upstairs. I don't think I have a, a Skarmory, so I'm sorry. Now, what's down? Where am I? Um, this seems, this seems scary. Oh, there's, that's a fight. That's a hundred percent a fight. And I doubt I'm, I doubt I'm high enough levels for a, an important battle. Cause why would I? Um, I know I see him up there. So I know we can't go here. We cannot smash the rocks. We can go up here. Watch your step. What is that? Okay, we cannot get the items, I guess. L E D E or D. I don't know if that says anything. Then there's that, which we could fall down. And then there's stuff up top. Huh. Of course, this person's wearing like cold gear. Weird. Weird. Wise glasses. I'll take. I'll take. Um, well, I guess this could be an encounter here. I can't go here. Okay. So it's seeming like I could get a yaw mask. Interesting. Interesting. Do I want a yaw mask or do I want a fish? That is the question. There's a book here. That book does not tell me about any of the encounters. Got it. Huh. Okay, well, I'm going to throw my rod in. My good rod. And our encounter is... You know... Not bad. Not bad. You know, Sharpedo is frail and all. But if we can get, like, a protect speed boost combo going... I'll take it. Now, I doubt it's going to be added to my team because I have Gyarados, but still, power in the PC. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. And then and then there's only one place we can go now. And that's, I well, two places we can go. And that's either up here, talking to our boy, which I don't remember his name. Oh, wait, there's more. 
I'd like to sleep for six hours, make it easier on the eyes to see outside. 2 a.m. Let's sleep for another six hours. And now it'll be 8 a.m. and I can see. Okay, we're talking about me. Oh boy, what am I going to get myself into right here? Hey there, Dex, it's me, Marcus. Thanks for talking to some sense into me back in Hayesport. My mom is Olivia, one of the Ego Council members. She was pretty disappointed when Geralt told her what I had done. My family and I maintain the ruins so that the rest of Ego can get some historical insight when they visit the desert. My mom says that there were some of the few descendants left from the people that lived here a hundred years ago. No. Oh, no. Well, that narrows our options down to one. And then there was one place we can go. Which I could have walked down that ladder, but I'm going to take this path. Are you Marcus's mom? Oh, hello. Welcome to the Doomstone Oasis. Well, this isn't the oasis. This is the quicksand pit. Sorry, I suppose I should introduce myself. My name is Olivia. I'm one of the members of the Ego Council. I'm also the director of the Dunestone Oasis Historical Site. It's not often we get any guests here, so you'll have to forgive me for not being outside to greet you. If you're interested in a complimentary tour, feel free to meet me back at the Visitor Center. The tour consists of a trek around the immediate area with a historical narr narr narration by tru yours truly. At the end of the tour, guests are encouraged to try to earn themselves the impact badge. Well, thanks for stopping by the Dunestone Oasis historical site. I hope you take me up on the free tour. I'm nervous. Ah. Let's see. Pokemon Infinity Council Levels. Like, I don't want to know her team. I just... I honestly just want to know... Her strongest Pokemon. You know what? Okay. 59. Fit, like, this person that I pulled up has between 46 to 59. Now, they probably weren't playing a Nuzlocke, which still scares me. <sighs> she at least has a 58. Fifty six, fifty eight, fifty four, fifty six. She has a fifty eight. What what level is my team again? <sighs> mm, I'm this makes me so nervous to go into this fight. I mean, I am of proper level. I mean, not completely, but close to proper level. It's not like I'm way under leveled. So I guess I just go into it. Ah, Dex, I assume you're here for the free tour. Awesome. Meet me outside when you're ready to go. <sighs> Welcome to the Dunestone Oasis tour. I am Olivia of the Ego Council, and I'm be I will be your tour guide for the special outing. Without further ado, let us begin. This is a palm tree. You can tell because of the way it is. These trees are native to, like, sandy areas, I guess. As you may have noticed, this is a lot of sand in the general vicinity. vicinity. Thanks. That's not very historical, though. 
This is water. It's one of the few water places. This is obviously the oasis. It used to be a little bigger, bit bigger, I think. She's not very good at this historical stuff. This is a rock. This is a large chunk of stone that has been here for at least 100 years. Some more enthusiastic geologists have claimed it may have been several thousand years old. Seems like kind of a stretch. These are some of the remaining pillars from the ruins of Chaos Temple. There's a little hieroglyphics etched into them. Super cute in my opinion. Yeah, she's definitely not a historian. And behind me are the ruins that I mentioned a few moments ago. The remains of the Chaos Temple that we've been able to preserve and study over the years. And with that, the tour is complete. Like I said earlier though, you will now, be f you will now face me in a Pokemon battle for the chance to earn the badge I hold. I hope you were taking notes during the tour because now it's time to put you to the test. Is she going to be leading with a tree then? I didn't take a look too much into her team. Hip out on. Got it. Oh boy. Well, it's just Leaf Blade. Nice and easy. She lives. And I get sand tuned. I wonder if she's going to heal. She does. Full restore. Okay. If we can waste some of these full restores out on Hippowdon instead of maybe some of her more threatening Pokemon. I'll take it. The only issue is we are taking a lot of damage. Okay. From both Sandstorm and Sandtomb. But, Santum's done. And then we're coming out to a Garchomp. What the... Come on, Goose. Take a hit. Especially with Intimidate. It's gonna hurt. <sighs> okay. We just have to Ice Fang. No, he... Somehow managed to hit two Dragon Rushes. Okay, you know, that was close. And thank you, you finally missed a Dragon Rush. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, we can make it work. What is next? Venusaur. Grass Rock, right? I'm getting hit with a rock move. I have to go to Koki Smash. We've used one potion. And we can eat that. Okay. Hyper Potion back up. That's two healing items used. Rock slide. We still eat that. Perfectly good. And then we should just be able to drain punch the rest. Okay, Venusaur should be nice and easy from here. I feel like Garchomp will probably come back out, but... Of course you move first. And I'm gonna get flinched here. No. No flinches. Okay, Venusaur done. What is next? So Garchomp is... Okay, Garchomp is one of... The, is next. And you miss Dragon Rush. And Leaf Blade should do the work. Rough Skin, that's fine. Garchomp down. Two more. Drapion. 
poison. I'm gonna get poisoned. Azumarill? Okay, you're setting up the toxic spikes. Okay. Crunch. That's fine. How much damage are we going to do? Toxic spikes, crunch. Night Slash. Still fine. And last but not least, you have... A Flygon. Okay, okay. I feel fine. Goose, we'll send out Goose. We still have one healing item left we can use. Why does Flygon look weird? It's the pose that he's in. Earthquake. We, we don't take those. And then we Ice Fang. Is he choiced? Is this man choiced? Into Earthquake? Bro. The misplays. Let's go. We went out of this battle completely 6 HP away from losing someone. Wow. Congratulations. I'm always excited when a guest completes their entire tour experience. In addition to winning this battle, you also get to add this impact badge to your collection. It permits you to break rocks that are in your way. Okay, thanks for the TM Rock Smash. Is Rock Smash better? Is that it? Is that all why we came here? Was just for Rock Smash? I think it was. How much damage does Rock Smash do? It's probably 65. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yes, give up on Rock Smash. What about Azumarill? Exactly. Why wouldn't I teach Azumarill Rock Smash? Okay. I mean, it's a, it's a decent rock, or not rock move, but fighting move in this game. And just with that, I guess Koki Smash is going to be breaking at them anyways. We found Relic Gold. And TM, drumroll please, Psychic. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Can anyone learn Psychic? Type coverage? Type coverage? <laughs> Type coverage? Yo. Psychic? Jeez. Insane. So where do we go now? Am I just supposed to fly back here? Possibly? That's all we need, right? We came for... Well, I don't know why. I didn't mean to fly here. I meant to fly here. And we will heal before we get into Palkin Heights because. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is going to get scary. Whew. I have a feeling another important battle is going to happen. And we were just barely on levels right there. And we don't even have our warden involved yet. I want to use my boy. Like, I want to actually have him usable in this game. I might have to pull, like, an off-screen grinding just for him. We'll have to see. Let's see. But for now, 
Let's run through the cemetery. Let's... Palkin Trail. Get into a battle, like, within two steps of this one little patch. Bro, remember when we were this week? Because I do. Then up here... Palkin Heights. What is this called? Palkin Trail. Have I gotten anything from Palkin Heights? I don't think so. This is a new encounter right here. A Razor Claw. Our, and our encounter in Palkin Heights just happens to be... Drum roll, please! Rhyhorn. No way. Wild Pokemon are level 54. What does that mean for everyone else? And War Darn is evolving. Let's go. Bro. Drag oil. Yo, that's actually kind of nice. Rock polish? No thanks on the rock polish. Now, let me take a look at your stats, because you might now just be an absolute physical attacker. Yeah, you're way more of a physical attacker. So, Dragon Claw is what we need. But look at him. He's kind of nice. He, he He's kind of nice. So, I'm putting Goose in the front. Goose is always a nice lead. There's so much more to explore now. I want to battle this one dude. Just to see his levels and to see how much I need to train. Okay, 50, 45. That's more normal. The Rhyhorn I fought must have just been some odd beast. But let me see. Break time. How are your levels, my dude? Parker. Scrafty level 53. You know, that's still normal. That's going to hurt a little bit, but not too bad. Okay. I'm not underleveled, I don't think. Well, we're getting stronger, huh? Fifty-five. Sloking. Okay. Do we have anything for sloking? Not really. Other than brute forcing it with goose. This is going to hurt a little bit. But as long as he doesn't heal, we're good. Okay. So, so. I honestly don't know how to feel about these levels. They're close, but they're not bad yet. I'm going to give it one more trainer. Let's see. Which groups are you a part of? The Echo Rock Cavern or the Space Nerds? The Space Nerds? Tamer Jackson. Who are the Space Nerds?
Okay, let's go Azumarill. Okay, I was going to say, if he goes Earthquake, I could be dead. But he didn't. So that's fine. And you're done. And I'm poisoned. Oh, this Nido King is awful. You have three Pokemon left. Digger off. Okay, let's go Kogi Smash. And hope he hits me with like a dark move. But he doesn't. That's fine. We'll Drain Punch. Digger off down. Level 53, so we're still staying around that level, level range. I think overall my levels are fine. The only thing I would like... Please eat this. Is having our Dragoil up to level. But everything else seems normal. Okay, if I don't knock him out here, I need to swap. And I need to swap. Um, our team, our team is getting weak. Jeez. <laughs> oh, perfect. Knock it out. Okay. I am going to wrap up the episode right here, though. I think. Like, our team is beaten up. And I just... I don't know. I, I honestly, like... I'm getting nervous for this. We'll just we'll just have to keep hoping and seeing. I would like to get Dragoil up to level. Like that that would be my goal. I know we just re repeat so many types. But yes, I am going to wrap up the episode here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back again tomorrow because it's daily episodes Monday through Friday. But until then, everyone, peace.